Happy holidays from Radio Shack, circa 1986. Radio Shack, Merry Christmas. I solved all my gift problems at Radio Shack's Christmas electronics sale. The struggling electronics retailer is trying to stay relevant, but it's not doing itself any favors with merchandise straight from the era of big hair and even bigger cell phones. Flip phone, still have some flip phone. Laser tag, I'm not very good at this. Toy Lamborghinis, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. There we go, nice, victory. Sure, they may be kind of cool again in a retro kitschy sort of way, but did I mention the walls of batteries, phone cords, and soldering irons? Classic Radio Shack here, learn to solder. My industrial arts class from junior high school. The company has made fun of its 1980s image. And Radio Shack does sell things that techies might actually find useful today. Wireless speakers, a 3D printer, even drones. Here we go. It also has a service called Fix It Here, a sort of one-person geek squad that repairs smartphones and tablets while you watch. That's pretty cool. But Radio Shack needs to do even more to embrace the present. It's losing money. Sales are plunging. Shares trade for less than a buck, and some analysts have a target price of zero. And the company's debt is rated way below investment grade. But that may only be fitting. Junk bonds were all the rage in the 1980s also.